here's the Samsung Galaxy Gear smartwatch. I'm going to be using it for the next 48 hours and telling you what it's like along the way. So before the gear will actually so much as tell you the time, you have to sync it up with a compatible mobile phone such as the Galaxy Note 3. Thankfully that's a really straightforward process. Uh, you need to get the cradle which comes with the gear and simply tap it against the back of the Note 3 and then the gear will sync up things like your calendar, the time and everything else you need from your phone. So at the end of a first day with the smartwatch, uh, it's certainly been the centre of attention in the office. The, the camera on the smartwatch is pretty cool, I mean there's a, it's just on the side here, it's a reasonably decent um, resolution, you can take some interesting photos. Um, there's another interesting little feature that if you move your wrist to look at the time, the screen will actually detect that movement and come to life. So after spending more time with the smartwatch, the cracks are kind of beginning to show. Um, it does double as a phone, so if somebody rings you, um, you can actually pick it up on the watch itself. The thing is, it's a speakerphone, so if you're in a crowded space, you kind of need thick skin to do that. I mean, basically everyone in the place can hear both sides of the conversation. And um, similarly with text messages, you can dictate text to it and half the time I've used it, in a, especially in a noisy environment, it just won't actually hear you say send, which again is, is far from ideal. Another thing, when you're looking at your tweets or your Facebook updates, what will actually happen is the smartwatch will tell you that you've got a tweet that you might want to read, but then it will direct you to the phone to read the tweet. So after spending a couple of days with Samsung's smartwatch, I can't help but feel that it's still got a lot to learn. Uh, the battery for instance, after two days I've already had to charge it up twice, it's not really ideal for a watch. At the same time it's £300, which is a lot of money, and for that I'd expect a device which really saves me time. What I found is that half the time the, the gear is basically pointing towards your phone, so it's kind of putting an extra step in the middle of processes rather than taking one out. I think, to be honest, it feels more like a gimmick at the moment and it's something that I'm not really sure I'm interested in right now. Certainly there's better things to spend your money on. Click the links below for our 60 second guide to smartwatches, a look at the Sony Smartwatch 2 and a look at the Samsung Galaxy Note 3.